tonight, Mississippi Valley Paranormal is in the heart of Muscatine, Iowa, at a place we have investigated five times before. A place that always has produced evidence and experiences for members of our team. So join us as we revisit an old case file. Since 2007, we have helped families to understand and live with the unknown. We own the night. We are Mississippi Valley Paranormal. The previous times we've investigated the residence, most of the activity we captured seemed focused on the top floor of the house, the most common activity occurring being the sound of walking footsteps. Here is an example of the footsteps we captured previously investigating this residence. Now, over three years later, we return to see if what we believe to be a previous owner still walks the top floor of the residence. During the interview before the investigation, we learned about new activity that had occurred, including a friend hanging items from a ladder and having the feeling of being pushed from it, a back scratcher that was sitting on a window air conditioning unit being thrown across the room, the feeling of being poked while sleeping, the lights and electronic fireplace turning on and off, feeling the bed being moved, and both smelling pipe tobacco and hearing footsteps on the top floor. Following the interview, the team moved to the top floor where most of the activity seems to occur. I'm just gonna do some EMF sleeps. All right. Here's the infamous living room. This was the living room area. It's the lizard wires down here. EMF is rising, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, nothing. EMF in the kitchen is flat. Basal, well, we got a little bit of EMF here when I come near the stove, it's normal. 0.3. That was steady EMF, that wasn't like the spike that we had before. Yeah, the stove is giving off a little EMF. This bathroom. Again, flat for EMF. Average hall temperature is 69 degrees. And there was no level to the EMF in here? Steve? Everything is flat. The, the only EMF that I got was up near the kitchen stove. Okay. Besides the EMF spikes that I had in the hallway and in the, in the okay. living room. And those were, those were, I'm going to say the they were. The sensor just went off. It did. Yep. I heard it. Is there someone out there? Are you, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Go ahead. This light switch is right there, Steve. Are we staying in here? Yeah, we'll stay in here and start the EP. That's why I'm... Here, I'm just a sec. I'm going to prop the ML meter up just so you can see okay. it from in there. Okay. Can you, can, can you yep. read it? Mm-hmm. Okay. What made that cell sensor go off like that? No idea. We're good to go. Just want to take a 
I hear dogs barking. Did you take a picture? Not yet. Oh. Do you hear something? If you don't mind, I'm going to kind of step out in the no, hallway and take a photograph down there. back in and then we'll put this out. I might as well just sit on the floor. That's like sitting on the floor. <laughs> My name is Becky and we have Mandy, Steve, and Bryce here. And we're in the living room area upstairs at George and Laura's house in Muscatine. Is there someone here with us? Could ask if he remembers us. That's right. Do you remember us? We've been here before. Is that your throat? Yes, sorry. Okay. I, I <coughs> mine knows that all the time. Was that you starting to come in the room when, when the cell sensor went off? You made it beep? If so, can you walk close to it again? It's out there in the hallway. Walk close to it, wave your hand in front of it, and you'll make it light up and, and make a noise. We'll know you're here. When we were here before, we heard you walking around in this room. I think I can hear the TV downstairs. Maybe. Yeah, there's something down there. You can come on in and join us. Can you tell us what your name is? Are you a male? Are you a female? Did you used to live in this home? If you can hear the sound of my voice, can you make some sort of noise to let us know that you can hear us? Doesn't have to be in this room, it could be any room up here. Was that a nod? I, I didn't, couldn't tell. I heard something, I didn't know if it was Bryce or if it was... I'm not moving. I just heard something shift down the hallway. Can you knock on a wall? Okay, this is going to be me for a minute. I'm going to 
I'm gonna go ahead and put my headphones on my my uh, recorder so I can hear it at the same time. I don't know if you remember me or not, <laughs> but I was standing in this door the doorway to this room and you walked by me. I know I kind of provoked you a little bit the last time I was here. That's me. If you hear that noise, the chair. Did I make you mad when Steve provoked you? Okay, I want you to try and communicate through Knox, okay? Do you like us being here right now? Knock once for yes and twice for no. That's me. Hear that? Mm-hmm. I got click or something. That might have been something, actually, a thermostat or something. If that was you, can you do that again to signify that that was you? Do you want to try this? You've never heard it. It's real time, so you can hear what's going on. Put that one. It amplifies. Yeah, it amplifies it good. <clears throat> do you want us here? Do you want us to leave? Alright, well we're staying then. You know, we can't see you. The only way we know you're here is if you make a noise or you walk by one of the devices that make it light up or talk into our recorder. When we were talking amongst ourselves, we heard you uh, get close to the cell sensor and make it beep. Can you do that again? Talking, I felt the floor shift under my feet here, and I heard just a real light, real light thud. So I heard. You heard it too. I heard a couple of bangs come from the hallway. Okay, this I felt like where my two feet are. It felt like the two, the floorboards right under there moved. Unless they did something downstairs. Let's see. You don't like it when people change things about the house, do you? You know, when I was here before, um, we had somebody named Stephanie, and she was sitting on the floor right where I'm at, and my brother was sitting right where Steve is at, and I was over a little bit further than Mandy, and we heard you walking in here. You made the cell sensor go off, and we heard your footsteps. Could you do that again? Why is this light that keeps flickering over here? I don't know, I think it's for the modem. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I didn't touch that, but it fell over. Hmm? Did you knock my recorder over? The 
problems in my throat. That's me messing with batteries here. Um, Can you guys hear, um, like dogs and all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can hear the dogs barking. What's up? Something. Another sound in the hallway. What kind of sounds, Bruce? It didn't sound. It sounded like it was like down towards the kitchen area. Yeah. He likes to hang out down there. I wonder if I should move my cell sensor down there further since we got your meter there. Well, you I put the meter next to it to, to show yeah. what EMF, well, since he can't see well, it. Yeah. yeah, if we put it down. What was that? I definitely heard that. No, I heard a voice right before that. Did you hear it over there? Mm -hmm. I heard a voice, then the snap. Yeah, let's let's try down here toward the living room and kitchen. Should we move the cell sensor back down to here? Yeah, right here. So did you want to move it back down here? Huh? Move the cell sensor back down here, maybe? Uh, let's keep it right here. All right. I think this was a room where they put it right on the edge of the door. For some reason, it would. It wouldn't go off unless I don't know. I don't know. We're having some. Did that just go off? That's what I was. I thought it just went off again. Did it? Are you in this room with us right now? Not very well. Mm -hmm. The hair of my head is standing up. Are you right behind me? Where's your millimeter at? Sitting right next to me. What's it saying? Going up at all? No. Reflection off of something. That's that was strange. An interesting picture. It might have. Was it? What was it? Yeah, is that from your? Say, Steve has a uh, infrared light sitting on top of his camera. That might be oh, what it oh, is. Oh, maybe that's what it is. it's showing Let like purple orbs. <laughs> Away from it. Yeah, and then there's nothing. That was interesting. Wasn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna call it paranormal. There you go. Yeah, when you point it away from that, you don't see it anymore. Made a neat picture, though. Are you in here right now? My camera can't focus on you, Steve. It can? No. It focuses fine on the, the two of you, but whenever I point at him, it goes completely out of focus. Yeah, out of focus. I, swear I swear there's something behind okay. me. There it goes. That's my throat there. Who's in here with us? See this device I'm holding in my hands right now? It's making the hissing noise. You can communicate with me through this. You can talk through this. And I can hear what you're saying. Can you give us your name? I think you should plug in the headphones and just turn those on a little louder than that. <laughs> if you want to do that and analyze it yourself, we can ask questions. And yeah, because we could help. actually hear it through your headphones. Well, he can only hear it, but... He'll no, hear we it. could hear it. It was yeah. so loud we could hear it. My headphones make a better speaker, too. Or, uh, antenna. Yeah, you can still hear it. Put one in my ear here. Give you an idea. Sounds 
sounded like it sets up. Yeah. Well, it makes a better antenna, so I'm getting radio stations through it. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm going to ask again. Are you in this room with us right now? If you're out in the hallway, can you step close to that device with the red light on it? Did you used to own this house? Did you die in this house? How many of you are here? I am in this room. Is that what you heard? Mm hmm Have you seen us here before? Are you trying to get a message to somebody? There's a car door. We thought we heard you out in the hall. Can you come in here with us? I think that's what the door was and stuff. I heard... That? Yeah. Someone's coming up the stairs, sounds like. That's what I thought I heard a couple times, too. Yeah. Sounds like it's coming from out there. Loud, whatever it is, it's like coming from there. Distant something or something. Yeah. Can you please try and figure out how to manipulate this device and talk to us? Are you a what? Are you a what? Are you aware? Can you touch one of us? Do 
you know why we're here? What are the names of the people downstairs? Those people. <laughs> it sounds like it's in those people. <clears throat> like he's asking me what people. He said what's the name of those people downstairs, like those people. One of them is named George. You know what his wife's name is? Do you know George? Yeah, you. <laughs> you know the first time you said his name? I swear I thought I heard it say, did he fall off the... I <laughs> have to listen back to it. Yeah, I was speaking to you. Do you know George? <laughs> Why do you hang around here? Are you stuck here? That was weird. I never heard her do that. Now, I know we've asked you this a couple of times, but can you tell me your name? Why do they never want to tell you their name? I can't say it. I can't <laughs> say it. I know. Why not? to bring the dog up here? Challenge? Challenge? <clears throat> I don't know if I'm getting anything intelligent over this or not. It's hard to tell. It's taking a little bit, staying a little bit longer on the <coughs> this thing's worked great in some locations, others not so great. I bring that device in here and you can see if you can answer questions for us. 
Would you be willing to try that? Sure. It's not sure. I know, it's not like it didn't happen. I'm gonna bring this cell phone to you and see if I can get, can get anything going on. This can't be the same ghost. This ghost is too cooperative according to this thing. I see. Okay. Remember a girl by the name of Stephanie? If you're in here, the device on the floor, it's got a red light. Can you stand close to it so it'll beep? Um, Walking outside? Could be because he said he lets the dog out that <clears throat> door, out that side door. Does it really make that much noise? I don't know. It's hard to tell. We'll have to kind of be aware and see if we hear it come back in. See where I'm shining the light? Can you stand close to that for us, please? Ow. What happened? Oh, I'm just Do you feel something? It was like, I don't know, made my elbow itch. That was me. Just stand close. You can answer our questions if you stand close to it. It'll light up. If you stand close, it'll light up. I thought that one on. I guess it didn't. That can be yes, and if you step away, it can be no. Do you understand? Stand close to it if you understand. Not background voices or dogs. Dog, dog voices. Yeah, dog voices. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can you make a noise that's loud enough for us to hear? This is a noisy neighborhood. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> What's yeah. that? Noisy, noisy neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Are you hearing something out there again? Yeah. That was somebody walking. In the hallway? I don't like it. Then, like, I don't know if you heard that, like, clearing their voice or something. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Ow. Oh, oh, there's, there's like, <laughs> like, little... I don't know, it, it's like... Like. I know, it's like little, I don't know, hmm. I heard that too. Does, does it feel like little pinches or what? It's like just a sharp little something and then my elbow was itching. Are you poking her? Check and see if she's got scratches. Well, I just itched my arm, too. I was scratching my arm. 
Hmm. That's my throat. Is there somebody downstairs? Are they downstairs right now? I don't know if they came in. Because I keep hearing like, like a creak over here, so I don't know if like maybe they're downstairs walking around. And I'll tell you what, when he walks by you, you can actually feel the pressure of it. That's the one, that's the one cool thing about it. This is the this is the one that we're, where you, you could actually feel the weight of his footsteps. I hear something like I you too. Some of these in the kitchen. <clears throat> that wasn't the kitchen. That was further down toward the front bedroom. That's tapping. It's kind of a sound that goes along with this because I remember the last time we were here, like we uh, we had picked up hammering sounds on the. Train. If you're trying to get your our attention, you've gotten it. Can you make a louder noise though? It's a dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of hard with the dogs, isn't it? Well, not only theirs, but whatever one's in the neighborhood. There was one next door that barked the whole night that one night. I'm going to see what time it is, just so we have an idea. What Do you remember what time we um, we came up here? Oh, I don't know. Because they said like an hour. It's going to get close. <clears throat> Excuse me. The only thing is, when we go downstairs, what are we going to be able to do? Their bedroom, and that's really it. This is me putting stuff away. walking out to the hall. Got cold over here all of a sudden. It's staying the same, though. Around seventy degrees, it hasn't changed much. Following a brief split up, then a brief investigation on the first floor. The investigation was wrapped at 9 p.m. The only things we experienced were some unexplained creaking of the floors, the cell sensor hits, and responses over the spirit box. Following evidence review, here are some of the EVPs we believe to be valid. Thank you. 